Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Tab Active, and today I will show you how you can boot this device into download mode. To get started, you will need to grab a cable and plug it into your computer and have it ready. And on your device, we're gonna swipe down for the notifications, extend the list, and select the power button and choose power off. Now, once the device turns off, you want to hold your volume up and volume down and then plug in the cable. As you can see, this will boot us into this warning message. So a custom OS can cause critical problems in a phone uh, and basically a bunch of crap that they try to uh, incentivize you against installing uh, any kind of custom OSs. Uh, now, uh, they obviously omissed um, the more important par part, which is the middle finger, which is that certain functions of the device will stop functioning if you install a custom OS or unlock or even just unlock a bootloader. And those things would vary between cameras not working, your uh, secure folders not being able to function, and some other things. So I believe you lose access to like your bank applications because your OS becomes unsecure. Uh, it's a bunch of bullshit that basically prevents you from actually utilizing uh, the openness uh, of Android operating system and you being able to install custom OSs because Samsung doesn't want you to use anything that they don't have insight on. And that's their way to kind of disincentivize that. Now, that being said, it is a massive breach of uh, what I would consider uh, consumer rights, but, you know, whatever. So if you still want to go through it, uh, as you can see, we just need to press volume up to continue. And we are now in the download mode, which you can see right here. And from here, you just install your custom OSs uh, and do all the unlocking and stuff like that. But with that being said, uh, that video was just to show you how to access this mode. Additionally, you can also get rid of the cable. Now below here, uh, it might not be too visible on the camera because of the exposure, but we do have the writing right here to hold volume down and power button at the same time for more than seven seconds to initiate a reboot. Now to be uh, completely honest, oh, there we go, it's a little bit better visible now. Uh, it is saying to hold the side button uh, because you know, apparently power button ain't, uh, ain't on the same side as the volume buttons, but yet those retain the same name. So anyway, with that rent over, we're gonna hold our uh, volume down and power button. I refuse to call it anything else. And you wanna hold it as long as it takes for the display to turn off. There we go. Once it does so, you can let go of the buttons and the device will automatically turn back on on its own. And as you can see, we are now back in Android. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.